This is Matthew Holt, and I'm delighted to have a quick interview with a guy who's a good friend of mine in the business. Um, this is Rick Rancier. He is the senior, senior, senior vice president of Qualcomm and also the general manager of Qualcomm Life. Full disclosure, I'm on the advisory board, which means occasionally Rick pays me to go to some nice hotel and uh, have dinner and ask me, ask me, he asked me my advice, which I'm sure he then ignores. Okay. <laughs> so he didn't talk about this. But um, uh, Rick, couple, couple of things. Uh, just in case people don't know, and they should by now, what is the business that Qualcomm Life, as opposed to the big 30 billion behemoth that Qualcomm is, what the, the Qualcomm Life is it? Oh, we're in the connected health space. Health 2.0, some people call it. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to call it that. Nobody else does, anyway. So, although Ernst & Young now do. They just put up oh, okay. a press release. said, are you suing them? I said, no, it's great. They're using the name. <laughs> anyway, but yes, but, uh, but tell me what that means in functional terms. Yeah, so we're basically helping to get uh, medical devices that are used in the home connected and back and, and then patients health information back to their caregivers at least that's where we started we're really about what we call the internet of medical things where we're trying to get medical devices regardless of the care setting um, that our patients are using to record their vitals get that data into systems of record whether it's an emr or a care coordination platform in the home but get that data quickly, securely into this system of record. Very good. And, and uh, you know, go, just for those who don't know, you have, I don't know how many different devices like blood pressure cuffs and pulse oximeters and weight scales and who knows what that are now at the feed into your yeah. TuneNet system. You name it in the TuneNet system, we've got it integrated. And the beauty of TuneNet is that we, uh, it's an open platform. So we work with every manufacturer to get them integrated. Um, but beyond integration, we make them interoperable. So we make them work together in a way that they weren't designed to do and uh, make it really simple for patients in the home to be able to get those devices connected and the data flowing. So say a bit about the acquisition you made a while ago, Healthy Circles, and uh, what that um, platform and then what that uh, application does and how that gets used by uh, right. patients and doctors. Well, what we quickly ran into, because this is a very early um, time in this space right now of home care, uh, chronic care management, uh, remote patient monitoring. It's called by a number of things. But um, what we ran into early on was that our, our customers, and we're, our model is a B2B, we sell to companies who are providing these solutions. And our customers didn't have the interfaces. They didn't have places to, um, to show the data, to analyze the data, to help inform the doctor or the patient what to do next. So Healthy Circles, is a care coordination platform, and we use that to um, capture the TUNET data, help to uh, present it in a form where we can move the, uh, the sort of the, the methodology from an individual by individual um, sort of synchronous method of caring for patients into more of an asynchronous mode where the vitals show up and the, the caregiver can focus on who needs to be, uh, who needs some attention at that moment. Now, obviously, this is starting to play in, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the, the big news in a minute. Yep. Um, this is starting to play into the, to, to the general theme in healthcare of more uh, accountability of care and more concern about what happens to the patients after the discharge from the hospital and all that, all that kind of good stuff that, that moves the value. Um, you've got a bit of data now starting to come back from some of your clients about that. So can you say a little bit about what, you know, what you're seeing the impact of using these tools on patients is starting to be? Um, we've got a, uh, a so we, we've built now an ecosystem of roughly 500 uh, companies that are everywhere from or everything from pharmaceutical companies to medical device manufacturers to the actual providers themselves. And so the um, uh, you're looking for something specific, and I don't have the information. Uh, so uh, that, but there there was some data recently out about some. I think a hospital you're working with in New Mexico, which is actually good, some good savings. But you're too excited. Let's go, let's go, let's go to the news that, of today. <laughs> I, was I was leading you there gently. But I think one of the, the big pieces, of course, is that uh, you're looking at not only you've been kind of focused on the outpatient world, but there's a lot of data inside the hospital as well. So you have big news today. So why don't you share it? You got it. Yeah. Well, for us, it's about um, what we call the Internet of Medical Things and getting devices and, and the patients using those devices connected regardless of the care setting. So um, uh, one of the, the areas of connectivity that's a little bit more developed in the home care, of course, is within the hospital, within the acute care setting specifically. And a company by the name of Capsule Technology 
um, headquartered originally in France and, and a large operation also just out of Boston, uh, is the leader in that space in connecting the medical devices in the hospital and getting the data not only into the EMR but into other systems um, so that the, 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 uh, the doctors and the nurses don't have to go about manually entering the, the vital signs into the EMR. And um, so Capsule uh, is the leader in the space. They've got close to 2,000 hospital um, customers today. They've um, integrated 750 medical devices into their platform. And so we'll be adding that onto the TUNET uh, platform and integrating the two of them so that we'll be able to provide this connectivity platform regardless of the care setting uh, from hospital to home and everything in between. And just to be clear, that's not a partnership, that's a, an acquisition of the company. In your that's not right acquisition of the company. Um, Capsule is now a Qualcomm Life company and um, it is helping to fulfill the vision of um, healthcare anytime, anywhere, and anywhere is important because what we learned in the few years that we've been in the space is that um, the home is an important place. We know that um, in, in, uh, in the future, uh, care is, is going to more and more gradually move to the home and because um, of the lower cost setting, obviously. And um, so we've uh, deployed in the home and we've got great traction from pharma, from med device, from provider organizations, but it's going to take a while for that to fully develop. But what it's really about not, isn't so much about the location, it's about patient centered. And so wherever the patient might be, we want to be capturing the data and we want to be able to get that data into a system of record, um, into the same system of record, regardless of where they're, they're getting those readings taken. And so just on the, on the final part about how you see this playing out with what you've already built, uh, there are a number of different places where these patients are. There are a number of different uh, pieces, but you, you know, the more you go into that hospital world and the, as the hospital itself and the provider's organizations evolve, you know, the roles that kind of are played by these provider organizations and by the, the interfaces are changing somewhat. Do, do, you, do you envision a, envision a time when you know, there isn't really a difference in terms of where the data comes from between you know, uh, intermediate facilities, yeah. hospitals, homes? I mean, do you think you will be everywhere? And, and uh, how do you see that playing out over the next couple of years as you start talking about this, this new acquisition to your customer groups. Yeah, that's exactly right. We, we think at some point it's all going to be one platform and it really isn't going to matter where the patient is. When we looked at the number or the, the, uh, yeah, the number of different device manufacturers that Capsule was working with, we compared that with the device manufacturers that we were working with. A lot of similarities might have been different device types for home as opposed to in the hospital, but the same manufacturers. And um, we've always had a reputation as being um, an independent, sort of a, a middle person, um, a uh, Switzerland-like organization. Capsule has that same reputation, and so it's really important to us. We stay completely neutral with regard to the medical device, also neutral with regard to the EMR, whatever system the data is going into. And over time, we think that connectivity layer is going to be critically important as care setting shift. And, um, and so our, our objective is, in fact, to be just like you said, to be everywhere, to be the connective tissue, if you will, of, um, of you know, the future of care. Great. And I can't let, let you leave without asking the question, which you may, may not be able to answer, which is, uh, how much do you spend? <laughs> yeah, I can't answer that. We'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to read the annual report and throw it out. Things, yeah, you'll have to figure that out through the annual report. Good luck. All right. It's <laughs> it'll be somewhere in the sub. sub I, I assume if they have to, and they are, you said 2,000 clients, and how many people, ballpark? Uh, they got um, 210 people um, located in, in Paris, France, and just outside of Boston, and uh, customers in 38 countries, mostly the U.S., uh, a handful in Europe, and then others throughout the world. Okay, so not a trivial organization, not a trivial organization. organization. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. All right, probably doubles at your team by, more than doubles your team by quite some number, I would guess. Probably, but that's a number I can't give out either. <laughs> All right, great. So I've been talking to the, uh, when you get, get him on the hard stuff, the caging Rick Valencia, but otherwise, uh, uh, Rick, explaining how Qualcomm Life has acquired Capsule and is, as you said yourself, going to make sure that uh, wherever the patient is, you are there to capture the data and move it anywhere it needs to be. All right. All right. Thanks for your time, Rick. Take care.